guys, it's Jen, and as you can see, I have a super special guest with me. This is my sister, Linda. Hi. You guys might remember her from my sister tag like years ago, and she's back with us again because she's engaged, and I'm going to be doing her wedding makeup, which I'm so excited about. So this makeup is kind of based on, it's a vintage Hollywood glam look. Uh-huh, yeah, we thought that would be so beautiful with the bright red lips and the winged eyeliner and perfect skin. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys on both of us because we have very different eye shapes. Yes, yes. So this will work on any eye shape. I hope you guys enjoy watching and if you want to see how this look is done, then stay tuned. I'm gonna start off with base makeup and I'm going to use the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation, which is actually really, really excellent for brides. I've always heard about this for years being a really great choice for bridal makeup because there's no SPF in it and it just gives a really beautiful airbrushed finish. So I'm using the shade 201. You have to make sure to shake this really, really well right before each use. I'm going to use the actual spraying from the can technique for you right now, just to get the first layer on my skin and then go back over it for additional buildable coverage. So I'm going to just use this in a Z motion. I'm actually going to spray this on the back of my hand and then taking a brush, I'm just going to pat this onto my skin just where I need it. After you put it on, you won't even be able to feel it. It's so weightless. It just has a really beautiful, very natural looking finish, which is especially important if you're going to use it on your wedding day. For the eyes, I'm gonna start off using an eyeshadow primer, especially when you're getting married. You're going to want this to last the entire evening and not fade or crease. Now I'm using this dark brown Dior Show Coal, and I'm just gonna use this as a base for my eyeshadow. So I'm concentrating this closest to my lash line, then pulling it out just slightly. Now I'm taking this brownish burgundy color and I'm just patting this over that coal that I laid down first. And I'm also blending out that top edge to make it a really soft, smoky, angular line. Next I'm taking this peachy shimmery color and I'm applying this in a half moon shape on the main ball of the eye. I'm taking a matte brown contour shade and I'm just going to blend the color up through the first and second colors, just so they have a really seamless line. Now I'm taking a really small brush and I'm going back in with that first deep color. I'm adding just a little bit to the outer corners and blending it toward the center. Depending on how smoky you want this look, you can keep adding in just that outer corner until it's exactly the amount of depth that you want. Now taking a creamy matte shade, I'm just applying this right underneath my eyebrow on top of the brow bone. To really brighten up the eyes and make them sparkle, I'm adding this light pinky champagne color on my inner lids and sweeping that toward the center of my lower lash line. Going back in with the coal from the upper lid, I'm just going to dot this on the outer corner of my lower lash line, just fading toward the center. With the darkest shade, we're again going to set that, wiggling that into the lash line. Now I'm going to apply my liquid liner. I'm gonna start off with a thin line at the beginning and then wing it out so it looks a little bit Hollywood vintage glam. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm also applying a very light layer to the lower lashes, concentrating more of the product on the outer half. Who doesn't love a beautiful pair of fluttery lashes for their wedding day? So I'm just taking these and applying them to the lash line. My sister likes a well-defined brow, so I'm going to fill in the shape of my natural brows, plus make an extra sharp little arch. Because every bride wants to have their perfectly contoured face, I'm gonna take some bronzer, and I'm actually going to apply this starting in front of my ear and we're just gonna bounce this on my skin moving forward so it'll be more concentrated back here and get a little bit softer as it goes toward the mouth you can also bring this around the temples and up around the hairline I'm also taking a small eyeshadow brush I prefer a fluffy one like this and I'm just gonna put this on the inner part of my nose and bring in the line straight down the key here is to be super subtle, so I'm just barely even having this graze my skin. For blush, I'm taking this beautiful shimmery rose color. I'm gonna apply this again, starting near the temples up here on the apples of your cheeks, 
and then just bouncing this forward. You can also bring it up a little bit. So it's like a J shape right here, going up toward your temple. For lips, I'm gonna start off with a lip pencil. I'm using a clear one, which you can use for any lip color, or you can also use a coordinating lip pencil that matches your lipstick. Normally, I try to stay in the lines when I'm filling my lips, but for this one, because it is clear, I'm actually running this right on top of the actual edge of the lip line, so that when I fill in the lipstick, it'll have something to cling to, and it won't feather above the lip. Now I'm just taking a gorgeous vampy red lipstick. This one is a little bit deeper, so it has that kind of old Hollywood glam feel. You can also use a lip brush, just whatever is most comfortable for you. Make sure you do the lipstick test before you walk on out there. So just take a finger, your thumb, and go like this. Really press that against your finger, and any of that remaining lipstick is gonna get on your finger and not on your teeth. If you saw my lipsticks video, you'll probably recognize this next step, but I'm going to make this lipstick really long wearing because of course it's for a very, very special occasion. So I'm taking a one-ply tissue, I'm going to put this over my lips, and then blot it with powder. Then I'm applying one more layer of lipstick, and it'll give an extra long wearing result because it just layers all of the pigment on top of each other so it's extra, extra opaque. So this is the final look as you can see it on my sister who looks absolutely amazing and also myself. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of worked out well on both of us. I think so too. <laughs> we tried on a couple different colors, but we settled on this red that came out gorgeous looking, I think. Yes. And I love the look on both of us. And <laughs> but especially you because you're the bride. I can't wait to see it in your wedding. And if you guys are getting married soon, please let me know that down in the comments. I want to hear all about it, what you plan on doing for your makeup for your wedding. So if you like the video, subscribe and hit like. Yeah, I guess that's about it, right? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you my latest Sephora haul. Hey guys, it's Jen, and today I wanted to share with you how to apply lipstick.